Hey friends, Ash here with Ginsense. Hope you're doing really well. Today I'm gonna to be taking a look at a fragrance that is awesome for high heat, great for summer, and an awesome vacation fragrance as well. BDK Parfums, Cell d'Archon. In this video, I'm gonna break this fragrance down for you, show you the presentation, let you know all the ins and outs of this bad boy right here. So let's go ahead and jump into this and check this one out. This fragrance was sent to me for review by So Avant Garde. I'll leave a link in the description to their website and also a link on their website to this fragrance as well. Doesn't affect what I'm gonna say about the fragrance, just wanted to let you know where I got it from and if you were interested in it, where you can check it out. Now I'm kind of challenging myself with this video. Usually I talk a lot, sometimes I talk too much. I'm gonna try to keep this review right around 10 minutes, maybe even less. Let's see if I can do that. I'm not sure, but I think I can. All right guys, let's go ahead and check out this box which is the same for every fragrance across the house, other than sometimes the coloration of the box changes. So on the front, you got the name of the house, name of the fragrance, some of the notes in the fragrance, and then your size and concentration down here at the bottom. It kind of looks like a casing to a book a little bit, and I believe that's the inspiration behind the packaging here. So you can line them all up on a bookshelf and it looks really nice, line all the boxes up and they'll, they'll fit right in together. On the spine, you got the name of the house, name of the fragrance, and then a bit of French, which I believe is a description of the fragrance, but I can't read French. And then on the back of the box, you have uh, some more typical information like, this fragrance is flammable. Don't spray it into a fire. Stuff like that, which is very important to know. And then on the bottom, you've got your ingredients. And your batch code is right here, printed in black ink at the bottom of the box. This one, 0240085, nothing at the top of the box. And then on the other side is actually where you will pull out and your fragrance, <laughs> can get this. It's not this complicated. I'm making it look way more complicated than it is. The fragrance sits right in here. So it's got a nice foam cut out, bottle sits right there. Speaking of the bottle, here it is. <laughs> Looks really nice. Love the blue coloration of this. I like how the sticker sits right there on the corner. It's really heavy, feels great in the hand. So you've got BDK Parfums on one side, name of the fragrance on the other side, sticker on the bottom, BDK on top of the cap, which does click into place. Cap is nice and heavy as well. And I'll go ahead and waste a couple sprays for you guys here. So let me go ahead and get positioned and, ooh, that's a good atomizer. So I said at the beginning of this video, that this one is great for summer, great for warm weather, great for vacations, and it is. This is a fragrance that I have fallen in love with the more that I've worn it. Now, when I first got this, I did not think it was gonna be very good. I actually thought it was gonna be pretty bland, potentially really screechy, and just, uh, just not any good. And the reason for that is because on Fragrantica, Grantica. It was rated pretty poorly, and I do not understand why at all. This is so much better, so much better than that rating on Fragrantica would lead you to believe. This one opens up with a really smooth, salty, aquatic vibe, and it has just the slightest hint of almost a, a sunscreen type of uh, scent, but it's on the back end. So when you smell it, you don't get that initially. It's after you've smelled it, it's sort of like this little linger in your nose for just a moment that will remind you of sunscreen. That may not sound super appealing the way that I'm describing it, but it is, trust me. The citrus in the opening of the fragrance is not really, really huge. It's there, but it's pretty light. You get more orange blossom actually, and it's this silky, smooth, white floral sweetness that almost lays a bed that that salty aquatic accord plays off of. It's so pleasing, so appealing. When you head into the mid, you've got that slight sweetness that still lingers there. And it almost smells like this has a solar note, which is really, I guess, what that, that slight sunscreen that I get on the back end of the scent. It's almost like this has a solar note in the fragrance. Lots of different scents that have kind of a beachy, summery vibe will include a solar note, and this one doesn't but it absolutely could. Because through the mid, it does smell like there's this solar accord in there. And if you've smelled a lot of fragrances that do have that, that solar accord, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you've never smelled that, probably doesn't make a lot of sense because you're thinking, uh, sun, like how is that, 
How can you smell that? It's that's not a thing. Trust me though, that's how it smells. Solar Note. Basically what that translates to, white florals that have a, a little bit of a vibe that's going to remind you of being on the beach. Through the mid, this one's pretty consistent. Doesn't change a whole lot other than it weakens up a little bit, which you would expect. Once you hit the dry down, you get hit with all the big boys. All the big modern aroma chemicals are here. You've got cashmere, you've got ambroxan, you've got isoe super, and you've got white musk. That one kind of well, kind of sticks out a little bit, but. Now, technically it's not isoe super. If you go to Fragrantica, that's what it will say. But if you go to BDK's website, it's timber silk. But timber silk is really close to isoe super. So I feel like Fragrantica just said, you know, more people know isoe super, just put that. If you look up timber silk, it's basically a drier, more impactful isoe super. So a little bit better. All of those mixed together, and it just really gives this fragrance kind of a warm and clean dry down that melds really well with that orange blossom from the mid. So it ends up still being smooth, light, creamy, a little bit sweet, and like I mentioned before, a little bit warm in the dry down as well. Smells so good. And you would think with all those different aroma chemicals that in the base, this one's gonna get metallic or screechy or overwhelming, but it's not. All those different aroma chemicals are reined in a little bit. They're not let loose with full force. So instead, they just meld together and work together nicely and and provide this soft base for everything to land on top of. Now in terms of performance, this one is a little bit interesting. Sometimes you'll think it's gone. You'll think it's just floated away off your skin and doesn't exist anymore after three hours or so. And then you'll be walking along and boom, you'll get hit by a big whiff of it. And you'll go, what? I thought that was gone. And it really is strange like that. You can smell directly where you sprayed and be like, mm, pretty weak. I don't think anybody's gonna be able to pick that up. And then 15, 20 minutes later, poof, you get hit by a blast of it. So that's something to be aware of if you do wear this fragrance. Sometimes you'll think it's gone. It's really not. In terms of longevity, six plus hours, so pretty good. Not a monster, but like I said, it does linger a lot longer than you would think it has. And then projection, moderate. In terms of uses, daytime, summer, and spring, leaning more towards summer. And uses, vacation time, casual, and potentially the office as well. And while this fragrance is nothing super unique, it is almost impossible to dislike this fragrance. It's so easy to wear, so smooth, so relaxing. It just puts you in a better mood, kind of lifts your spirits. It is 100% a beachy, easygoing fragrance. And I can tell you that this one is going to be a warm weather staple for me, especially, like I've said a couple times, on vacation. You best believe I'm gonna be packing this or a decant of this. So Cell d'Argent, for me, an absolute surprise and a really, really pleasant one. More often than not, surprises have been bad for me here lately, where I've thought, this one's gonna be awesome, this is gonna be great, then I get it, and it's not. But this one, I thought it wasn't gonna be good, and then it was great. So there we go, guys, BDK Parfum Cell d'Argent. Absolutely think you should check this out if it sounds interesting to you, because this one, I love. And that will 100% be on my niche summer list this year, 100%. All right, guys, it's gonna do it for me. If you smell this one, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. As always, thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for your support. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys.